welcome to Pittsburgh, a city that is all too familiar with hoisting Lord Stanley's mug. The Penguins ready to roll tonight. And we are about set to drop the puck on this one. The Senators take possession to get this one underway. Musa quickly over to Norris. Pittsburgh's got the puck. Gessel's taking it from his own end. Nice feed from the left side up the middle. Play whistle dead offside the call. Kachuk's not afraid to throw his weight around, guys. His truculent zone ability gives him the edge when finishing his checks hard. Crosby's got that beauty backhand zone ability, which is his notorious backhand shot, guys. And it's his favorite way to finish. I'll be watching these two players to see if one of them can really shine for their team tonight. Guys, back to you. Steps across the blue line. Poked away by Pedersen. He might have a step here. He's in the clear. Oh, denies him on the play. Uh, and this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. Gensel's got a great shot, and the key to his accuracy is when he shoots the puck when it's settled down on the ice and not bobbling on him. That accuracy is what we call his snipe zone ability, guys. Tosses it to Kachuk. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Big time nice stop. Shot. Takes a shot. Oh, what a glove save there. He read that perfectly. Lee's out battling his opponent right now. He is so dialed in. He's tracking the puck, making save after save. It's about time his team starts working in front of him. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Passes it over to Malkin. Quick feed to O'Connor. The Penguins carry it along the wall. Huge steal at his own end. And he's ridden off the puck. Moves it to Carlson. Makes the save. Handles the puck at the point. Denied with the glove by Corbisello. I'm not sure where the defense is, but I'll tell you what, the goaltender has been outstanding, made a flurry of saves to keep his team in this one. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. Still looking for our first goal. The Penguins will start off on the attack after winning the draw. Oh, he just got enough of that to keep it out. All those tracking exercises when you're young come in handy when you're older, and this is a prime example. Look at him, Bob and Weave, trying to find that puck. He does and makes a save. Officials ready to drop the puck and get things back underway. Ottawa's won it, now they'll go on the attack. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Takes a wrist shot. Puck goes out of play. We got a face-off coming up. Carlson's great at springing his teammates into the zone with ascendant zone ability. The long breakout pass can create a great counterattack and really set his teammates up for success. Scoops up the puck. Oh, just misses. What an opportunity there. Uh, and you know in the pregame, the coach and the players are talking about getting on the board first, sending a clear message. He had an opportunity and he misses. Ottawa's got the puck against the boards. Takes possession. Oh, the out of the play! Whoa! Oh, that's a true competitor's save. Just when you think that he's completely out of it, James, he comes across with a desperation save to keep his team alive. Here we go. Look at this. They are really a fine to squeeze down on the offensive end. And they'll end all that pressure as they clear the zone. Pittsburgh's got him along the wall. And it's a quick pass to Latang. Drives to the paint and scores! Big time moment for Ricard Raquel! We get to the shot off the most coveted area on the ice, right in front of the paint. Doesn't allow the goalie to get set up and puts it home. Pittsburgh's gone up by one here in the late stages of period number one. Perfect timing as we near the intermission. Oh, uh, yeah, and sometimes when the offense isn't coming, you got to stay the course and just continue to grind, and that's exactly what they did, and now they wind up with the game's first goal. Scores! And they strike Peter once again. Yeah, they do, and their opponents down on their heels are deflated. they got to find a way to continue with the pressure, be relentless, and try and get another one. This is a real tough play for a goaltender to get 
get a read on James here in that inner slot area. The puck's on the backhand, fighting for position and getting it off quickly. That's a tough one to read and a reason why it goes to the back of the net. Getting into the later stages of this period, the Penguins have recently taken a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. The Penguins played along the wing, and that's intercepted by Chikrin. From the left side, they gain the zone. Kachuk's got it in the corner. Turns it away. Pass back to the point. Puts it on that. Oh, how did he step that one? Wow. Don't really click in here in the offensive end. All sorts of pressure. Ottawa's down, but not out. They've had chances. They just haven't capitalized. The Senators win the faceoff. Big stop by the goaltender right in front. Both teams readying here for the faceoff. Norris is quick on the draw. Denied by the puck stopper. We'll get a face off after the puck stays covered up. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Well, fun start to this one as period number one comes to an end. We've still got lots more still in store. Kids are coming out on the ice here to play the little mini prospects game. And we'll be back with more. Well, the first 20 is in the books. Let's see what this second period offers. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? Jari is the only reason that his team is in this game, James. I mean, he's been outstanding through the first 20. He's dialed in, he's focused, and his team needs to pick it up if they want a shot at winning this game. Pittsburgh's got him along the wall. Here's a chance in front, and that's blocked in front. Sends one up to Kachuk. Gains the zone along the right wall. Now a quick pass to Chikrin. Oh, what a stop! Jari's going to elect to just hang on for a whistle. Well, he hasn't been busy, James, and I like that he landed on this one. He's physically engaging, keeping himself in it. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. The Penguins are currently sitting in the driver's seat, leading 2-0. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. And that's broken up. Here's a short pass to Joseph. And he takes the pass. Takes the book, but hangs on to the puck. There's another stop! I really like this save, James, because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. Ottawa's had a lot of good looks on net, but they continue to trail here in the second. The Senators win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. There's the whistle as the puck stopper likes to hang on. Still lots of time left here in this frame, and it's a 2-0 hockey game. Ottawa's won the draw. From the slot, wrist shot, and that's blocked away. The Penguins have it now. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Came up with a nice save. Scooped up along the wall by Moulton. Down the right wing and into the offensive zone. the puck. Quick pass to Giroux. Takes the puck at the point. My goodness, what a save by Curry. What a steal in his own end. Now he takes it over the line. There's a shot, and he gets in front of that. Oh, Getting it in. 
The Penguins are having a laugh tonight up by a bunch now. Well, when it's working for you, it's working for you. And you know that the coach loves this as well because guess what? The entire bench is going to be utilized. They're all in rhythm. Get them all out there. Puck picked up by Kachuk. Goes straight to the crease. Stopped by the goaltender. He does a great job of having sound positional play based on where the puck is on that low inner slot. And he makes himself big, takes away the holes, and makes a save. Kachuk's back on the ice as he should be. He's the captain leader of this team. They're getting blown out right now, James. But what better way to create some charge here by your captain settling everyone down? Don't save somehow got a piece of it. Oh, a stop. Man, is he ever quick on his feet, anticipating the play. Excellent reflexes. He's saving his team right now. Grabbed along the boards by Puglia Yarvi. The Penguins have it behind the cage. Moves it quickly over to Pugliarvi. Slides the puck down low. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Ottawa's regained possession of the puck. Here they come up along the wing. Quick feed to Kachuk. Big save. Here's a chance. Oh, wow, stops again. Pittsburgh's crossed the line and on the attack. Lifts the stick and takes the puck. And now he passes up to Tarasenko. From the open ice, they gain the line. Ottawa's got it from behind the net. And that goes off a of body. Moves the puck into the attacking area. What a save by Corsello. A great core strength to hang out of the puck after that. Goaltender covers it up, and we'll get a reset here. Gotta find ways to finish because they continue to trail here late in the second. And they'll start with possession. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. And the officials will pass the sentence here. Being down by a bunch of goals and then you get running around with frustration and out of control and that's the reason why you took a penalty. The Penguins get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. Well, there you go, 40 minutes in the books. All right, friends, go grab yourself some water, get hydrated, and then buckle up because we got an exciting third period coming up in moments. One to go. Third period. They're ready to drop the puck. The Penguins go right back at it on the power play here and win the draw to start the frame. Blocked by Tomasello. I think he actually prefers the backhand shot to the forehand shot. It makes him so effective because he's got such confidence in it. He has control over his backhand, which is a little bit unusual. But this time, the goaltender reads it and makes the save. Moves the puck. Salo's been off his game tonight, really looking uncomfortable between the pipes, and he needs to settle in and find a way to create some momentum for his team. But on the other side of the puck, I mean, the forwards have to contribute offensively, and they can only do that if there's a sense of urgency to their game. Great reach with the stick by Smith. No room for that one to get through. Takes the feed. Cruz got the puck in his own zone. Sends it in deep. The Penguins get a hold of the puck along the boards. Right side set up ahead into the middle of the ice. Rust's been buzzing out there, James, tonight. And he already has a goal. This is a blowout game. A time to have the stats. For the comfortable lead, James, some would say that that power play really wasn't a big deal. But I would say different. It's really important that you push. You continue to work on your habits because the timing could be different next time. Oh, look at this chance. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Scrum ensues along the boards. Norris works the puck in his own zone. Skates across the blue line. Moves it to Patherson. Here's a chance. Takes a shot. Oh, wow, that was spectacular. What a club save. Still lots of time left in the period. It has been a one-sided affair. Three-nothing is where we sit. Taken along the wall by Pedersen. Scoops up the puck now. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. 
Makes a move in front. Crabs him with the glove. Nice well, flash from the leather on this save. The shooter's in a great A scoring area, and man, he just whips out the glove and makes the save. Ottawa needs to convert on one of these scoring chances, and they've had a lot of them tonight, but they still find themselves down in period three. And he had an answer with that save. Jari's got the puck. He's going to hang on for a whistle and slow things down. Well, he's been shelled, hasn't he, James? He's weathered every storm that's been thrown at him, and now he elects to pounce on this puck. It's a nice, safe play. He anticipates well, and he holds on for the whistle. And now it's grabbed by Shabbat. Denied that one. Jari's able to put that... Here we go, two on one. And they can't get that one to go. Looks to make a play over to Kachuk. Quick feed down low. Sets it out front. And that's stopped. Oh, Jack the save on the play. What an incredible save. No idea how he got to that one, James. And the shooter is absolutely stunned. What a stop. Here in the back half of this period, 3-0 is where we sit. The Senators start with the puck in their own end. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Shot! Oh, how did he keep it out? What a blocker stop by Chari! Puck ready to drop here any moment to get things underway again. The Senators take possession off the faceoff. Denied! Lovely defensive effort. Let's get the call. The Penguins don't like it, but they'll serve two in the penalty box. comes out for the faceoff. An opportunity on their first power play of the game, James. And this is an opportunity to look at the coverage as well. See how they're playing it, whether they're going to be aggressive or sit back. That knocks him off the puck. Here's a short pass to Sanderson. Oh, and I think that goes off the mask, and it stays out, and the play continues. Tremendous pressure here. And that's just out of reach. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll have to regroup. The Senators gain possession along the wall. Sanderson's tripped up, and the official's hand is in the air, singling penalty. That's turned away with the pad by Jari. Here comes the call. The Penguins are going to be shorthanded because of a tripping call. Got a five on three, but not a lot of time to work with. A short five on three here on the stick, off the stick. You're not going to have a lot of time to move the coverage, so driving it towards the net and crashing it is key. Oh, and an even bigger save on the slapper. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. Molkin's penalty has expired, and he'll join the penalty kill as they remain short handed. Picked up along the wall by Latang. And that's knocked away by Batherson. Trying to clear the puck from his own end. And they'll get some fresh bodies on the ice after that clear. Ah, this is how you get a wave of momentum in your favor, James. You get fresh legs out there, and if you can pay attention to your habits and get those good shift changes, you find... Oh, what a save! He stopped the world! Oh, that's an intangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. And he can't hang on after that hit. The Senators take it along the wall. And they're off to the races for the loose puck. Pittsburgh's penalty killers get their man out of the box. Power plays have the opportunity to really dictate pace and change the momentum of the game. And this one didn't do any of it, James. Certainly frustrated as they head back to the bench. Pittsburgh's through center and now in the offensive end. Stops that one. 
Tries to get it over to Shabbat. And now he tries to get it across to Patherson. And that one's picked off in the neutral zone. Grabs control of it at the point. Oh, tremendous reflexes with the glove by Corpusalo. Well, this save looks easier than it actually is. I mean, when you have a shooter right in the slot, and you know that you've got to find a way to get your glove on it, you got to be fast, you got to be quick and show those reflexes. He does that and makes the save. And they win the defensive zone faceoff. And he slides it quickly to Giroux. Moves the puck along the half wall. Can't connect as it goes off a stick. As the final seconds tick off the clock, the home fans acknowledging what they just saw tonight. Cheryl Pounder, I'm Jake.